If you've been anywhere on the internet in the last like two weeks, you would know that it was just Paris and Milan men's fashion week. The only issue is that I am in South Africa, not Paris or Milan. I feel like my invite got lost in the mail. I'm actually like a really famous model. I feel like they forgot to, you know, let me walk in their shows. So today I am retaliating and I'm editing myself into the shows because who doesn't want to be in a runway show? I have nine brands that I want to walk for and so I'm gonna be editing my face onto one of the looks from the entire runway. I found the nine brands that I'm editing myself into. Here's my little listy list and I've screenshotted all the looky looks and now I just need to start editing myself into them. This is gonna be the most important part, okay? We need to put in 100% effort, 100% attention to detail. Okay, so the first one I'm editing myself into is Etro. I have edited myself into like big events before. I edited myself into the Met Gala. I put myself over Bella Hadid in her iconic outfit for the Met Gala. And I remember I showed it to my mom and then her response wasn't like, wow, good editing, which it was, it was amazing. She was like, I prefer you without boobies. You could have complimented my editing. It looked so realistic. My name is Bella Hadid. Follow me on Instagram. That's where you see all the cursed editing. So let's start editing myself into the Etro show. So first I'm gonna shrink my head down to roughly fit this one. Then I'm gonna take the like opacity or whatever you call it down. Oh now that is scary. That is so scary. I'm gonna try match up the eyes a bit. Bestie's jawline is very strong. I don't have such a strong jawline, but it's okay. That is scary, but I can work with this. I can work with this. So I'm gonna go in with the eyedropper, take my hair color and sort of just like add it here, right? Like that, like so. I'm just gonna like blend it in a bit. Do 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 And I basically just have to cover all of their hair with my hair. Nice. Okay, now what I have to do is I have to take the blur tool, where is that? Blur, and basically just go over here, blurring it all in. Not that intensely, just like a light, you know, blur. Why is this working? Why is this working really well? Besides whatever this is, this is not working really well. I'm just gonna put a boom, put a boom, put a boom. Back to blur, put a boom, put a boom, put a boom. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, slay, slay, slay. Now I just need to go in and like here, cut my own neck off. It's not the best at all, but it'll get better. It'll get better. I like this. I'm gonna save and we can move on to the next one. So the next one I'm editing myself onto is D squared. Now this one, we have a bit more to work with. This person has a very similar hair color to me and they're wearing hat, which is gonna be fun. Cause then I literally have to basically align the face. <laughs> I just realized I wasn't screen recording this entire time. I wasn't screen recording while editing myself to D squared, but I basically erased my head where the hat is and look how perfectly my face aligned with this models. Isn't that so iconic? It just fits directly on top. Like without my face, there's the model. Boom, perfect. Yeah, my hair is not working. So I'm just gonna erase all my hair. That seems like the best option to me. We just need to be careful not to like expose the fact that I put myself on, like there. Expose myself to the fact that it's on top of someone else's face. We gotta stay convincing because this is oh so convincing. But like boom, that is so cute. That is so cute. Now the neck, I just need to like... What if? Okay, what if? Because this is not working. I'm gonna highlight this and I'm basically gonna paint at the bottom. So it's gonna look like I'm just super snatched at the jaw, or that this is just like a shadow, right? That's totally how this works. And it like blends down a bit, you know? And then we're gonna take the hair, I'm gonna go cut it up there, like so. Okay, okay, wait, full, full. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Wait, now we take blur tool and we just, oh, that's too much. We just go in with a light little bit and we do like a very light little blah blah all the way around like so. That is so convincing. That is the most convincing thing ever. You cannot tell me that I didn't walk in D-squared. 
Saves PNG. Boom. Shakalaka. The next one we are editing into is Soleron. Soleron. Soleron Oxford with laces or these boots? Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. How do you say Saint Laurent? Saint Laurent. The next one I'm editing myself into is Saint Laurent. And this one's going to be also pretty easy. What I'm going to do, right, is move my head directly over the models like so. Then I'm basically going to erase everything that is technically hidden by the collar, which is basically everything. And I'm going to erase my hair so that we are basically just the model's face everything else not us you know so look at that whoop 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 and i can even erase my chin like that oh no that's too far i erased too far we need to go very careful next i'm also gonna try do the sunglasses i don't know how but hopefully it works so there we go there we go there we go there we go whoop there we go okay let's make me visible oh Oh, oh my gosh, is that my face in Saint Laurent? Or is that my face in Saint Laurent? I, okay, wait, it's not very visible. Sunglasses, they have to go, my bad. We're not putting the sunglasses on me because then it's not even visible that it is me. So there we go. That is such a sleigh, guys. Look at me in Saint Laurent. Save as PNG. The next one that I'm editing myself into is Givenchy. And this pretty much matches once again already. I just want to move my face to align with the models. Fitting like a puzzle. That is some beautiful alignment right there. I don't know what exactly to do for Givenchy. I feel like the hair matches pretty well. So I'm going to try blend the neck a bit maybe. And then like edit the hair at the top. So I drop it. I'm going to go right here. I'm literally just going to take all of this and i'm gonna like attach my hair actually why why am i doing this when the background is pure white i literally all i have to do is that and it's literally oh my head is shrinking literally all i have to do is that ah i'm so bad at this give me a second literally all i have to do is that and boom where even are they they're not even there the hair okay my hair is kind of mid what would happen if I just erased my hair completely. Oh, that would happen because my face doesn't match. Okay, I'm gonna throw my hair behind the coat. That's what I'm doing now. My hair is behind the coat. I'm gonna try put my hair back because I went a bit too far. That is actually so slight. Wait, wait, because why is this working? My hair looks so voluminous, voluminous, voluminous. Is that even a word? My hair looks so plumpy right now. Lumpy. Okay, slay. Now next, I need to try to figure out the neck. <laughs> what if I go to FX, I go to brightness and contrast, I make the brightness, contrast a little less, no, oh no, but I go up like that. Would that be cool if I just... Why do I feel like that works way better than whatever I had going on before? If I now just take my eraser and make it very small and like just neaten up these edges right here, like so, and just... I feel like that looks better besides the fact that his drawer is sticking out right there. But like, that's pretty decent, right? What if... Okay, now what if I make my head bigger, actually? Was that just what I had to do all along? Make my head bigger? Are you kidding me? I think this works a lot better now, I just need to fix the hair. This one's not going to get any better than it was before. Like, I've done what I can. This is the best it's going to get. That is so unproportionate, it is scary. I'm going to do the rest off camera because otherwise I'm going to have like seven hours of filming to do. But I'll just like pl plop the little... Two seconds later. I'm done. I'm done. I've edited myself into all the shows I wanted to edit myself into. I mean, I mean... I have walked in nine fashion shows this last two weeks during the men's Milan and Paris Fashion Week season. So here's the shows that I walked in. So first we have a trope. Personally, I love this look so much. I feel like my hair just looks amazing. It has like ginger highlights at the top. Other than that, this outfit is such a big sleigh. Love the colors. 
period. Next, we have the D squared show. My jawline is just so strong and my face is so sharply defined and like framed by my jawline. So I feel like my jawline is just perfectly framed. I look fabulous in this one. Absolutely amazing. Look at my hair, period. Also look at my body. That is such a sleigh, right? Next, we have Saint Laurent. I feel like this show has such a serious tone. I love how serious it is, especially this like serious look on my face. My ears are a different shade from my face and there is some sideburn involved over there, but I feel like the sideburn is so iconic. My chair is creaking. I feel like the sideburn is so iconic. We need it there. I love to see it. This chair creaks one more time. I'm gonna scream because it keeps creaking. Anyway, I love this look so much. Very beautiful look, very serious face. Very beautiful show. The music was so moving. Loved it so much. Next, we have Givenchy. Now, I love this one. I think I ate up the editing on this one. I ate this up. I don't know how I edited it. It's so amazing. Look at that definition. Pimple and all. Like, that's beautiful right there. That is such a slave. I love this look so much. And I love this outfit so much. It is so cute. Now, here's the ones you didn't see me edit. Here we have Rick Owens. I love the hair on this one. This is such a sleigh. Absolutely love how it looks. I love the outfit. The colors are amazing. But focusing on my face, I feel like I look like an owl from, like, The Hobbit or something. You know those owls? Yeah, I look like those elves. Um, the hair is such a sleigh, my hairline is so tiny. I don't know where my forehead went, but I mean, I love it. Also, my neck is so beautifully blended with the makeup, the body makeup. Love it to bits. The next look we have is the Louis Vuitton look. I love this outfit. It reminds me of that Georges Magritte artwork with the apple. Also, the editing on this one is such top tier. I feel like my editing got better as we went on. Like, when I turned off the camera, this went so fast. This took me, like, two minutes, and look at that. That is so beautiful. Might have to go do some touch-ups on the others to make it match more, but I love this one. Okay, the next one we have, this is Kenzo, the mohawk. I love this one. Here, my face is really shining. The editing is not the best, but here, my face is just shining. I absolutely love that glow. It stands out from the rest of my features and my hair amazing in this one. I love it. Next, we have the Loewe show. This one's editing is also pretty good because I love this one so much. It is so cute. Loewe for the win. I love Loewe. Loewe. I used to say Loewe, Loewe, W-E. Loewe, Loewe, but it's Loewe, guys. It's Loewe. Last but not least, we have Ludovic de saint -Sernin. I love this one. Two, my neck, so bulky. My neck is actually thicker than my head. And here you can see I have two ears, actually. That's, no, that's one ear. It's just a strand of hair cutting it in half. You can see it, right? But I love this look and I love this outfit. And I love how my face looks in this one. Beautiful, it's such a slate. That is all the looks that I added myself into for Milan slash, I mean, no. That is all the runway shows that I walked in Milan Fashion Week and Paris Men's Fashion Week. Etro, D Squared, Saint Laurent, Givenchy, Rick Owens, Louis Vuitton, Kenzo, Loewe, and Ludovic du saint -Sunon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me which editing you think is the best. Tell me if you want to see more. Tell me if you want to see me attend any other fashion weeks. I will do so for you. I'll be there. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, do all those YouTube ting-tings, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.